Hello, Wastelanders. It's Jewel Smith playing Fallout 4 as Rose, the Nuka World Raider Overboss. I'm here at Somerville Place with Porter Gage wearing the blue quantum power armor. I'm the one wearing it, that is. He's wearing that Raider mess. And in the last live stream, I unlocked this location as a settlement. I can access their workshop. Now what I want to do is I want to make them part of my Raider Empire by turning them into a vassal. And to get as much as I can out of that, what I need to do is plant a whole bunch of crops, get a whole bunch of people working here making food, and then turn them into vassals. Because once I turn them into vassals, I can no longer access the workshop, right? I know I've said that in a million live streams already, but <laughs> for anyone who might be new and just joining us, that's the way that works. Let me hop over to the live stream page on YouTube. This will be my second attempt at live streaming today. The first live stream crashed after about four minutes. Hopefully that will not happen again. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the game crashed or YouTube crashed or what happened. Let's join you in the chat room. Hey, Zombie Apocalypse. Hello. Hey, South Pole Squadron. It's going all right if I can manage to keep this live stream from crashing. This is not a very happy settlement. Their happiness is going up. They have no defense. Okay. I love that tractor. I don't want to scrap it. We'll scrap that car for a little steel and we'll see about making a turret. I have no oil, huh? Okay. This is not linked to my other settlements. It's way down south here. I don't know what my nearest settlement would be. My nearest normal settlement. Abernathy. <laughs> if I could send a provisioner all the way down here from Abernathy. I'm going to have to get some materials and lug them over here so I can build this place up. Looks like they have some junk I can scrap. Gage, get out of my face, man. But not that much junk. They don't need the tricycle. We want to do lots of food here. Seems to be growing well. Corn takes up an awful lot of room. Gage, buddy, what are you feeling all right? What's the matter? He's like sticking to me like glue. I think carrots are best. You can get an awful lot of carrots into these rows of dirt. Not that they have to be in the rows of dirt, but I'm just saying. I think I'm going to go for carrots or potatoes. You can get a lot of squeeze a lot of potatoes in too. But how are we going to house everyone? I want to bring. All right, let me see here. First of all, I probably have no way of building. Let's look here. My recruitment beacon. I'm going to start recruiting some people. Yeah, circuitry, crystal, copper. All right. I have to haul a bunch of crap out here so I can build stuff. All right. Kids, yeah. Lots of wood, though. Let's scrap all this wood. Wow, it goes all the way up to the edge, but not quite into the water. Can we put a water purifier out here? Ah, uh, well, I've got the contraptions and Wasteland Workshop expansions, so I don't necessarily have to put things in water. I've got a uh, 
a water purifier that doesn't have to be in water. A lot of trees out here. Anyway, so how am I going to house everyone? Well, I guess I could build shacks. I could build another house. Lot of trees. Wow. Thanks, Somerville Place. Lots of wood. Lots of space to work with, too. So, yeah. What can we do around here? I think I'll build a whole other house. What the heck? Got a little farmhouse here. Could build another little farmhouse. Over here somewhere. But I'm going to have to get... Oh, I've got some steel. Not enough to build a whole farmhouse, though. Yeah, I know. I could scrap this car. Sure. Take a look at the area. Oh, what's over here? What's this? Oh, just another sentry bot sitting out there for no fucking reason. What's it doing out there? We just ran into a sentry bot during the last live stream that was just sitting there. Out of nowhere. What is it with me running into random sentry bots all over the place? What's up with that? Two fusion cores, though. I'll take it. Like, what's up with that, though? I gotta know. Look at it. It's just sitting here. Like, right by this house. Now, I know there's supposed to be a sentry bot. Maybe it wandered away from where it's supposed to be. There's supposed to be one up here. Look, if you go this way... So there's the junkyard that we came through. But there's like, there's a little little bunker up here. I know there's a whole vault over here too. I know, I know. It's cool. This is my second playthrough. So even though it's the first time that Rose has been out here, my first Soul Survivor Fiona has been out here a million times. Alright, so there's this bunker here. Maybe it wandered away. Because like I remember if you come up here, see that? Oh no, there it is right there. There's one there too. Talk to SentryBot for real. Oh, okay. Is is it not gonna? That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. Can I can I hit it with frag grenades from outside? I know if I go inside. Hang on, hang on. If I go inside this little bunker and mess, it'll come out. It'll come out. Well, that did something to it anyway. But here, let's go inside here. If I unlock this door, I think it like lets the sentry bot out or something. I'm pretty sure I do it. that. Okay. He'll come out. He'll come out. Come on out. Come on out. It's fine. So you go in here. Yeah. See, he can come out now. Okay. Do 
Three more fusion cores. Yay! All right. So I don't know what that other sentry bot was doing down there, but okay. Gage, you gonna join the party now? Really? What are you doing down there? Oh my god. All right. Anything else in here to loot? I think there was a crate. Yeah, right there. Right away in a paintbrush. Woohoo. Alright. And yeah, and then there's a, a vault right over there. That's the vault that's involved in Kate's quest line. If you run around long enough with Kate, she'll tell you that she wants to cure herself of her chem addictions, and that's the vault you have to go to to do that. It's full of gunners. We don't need to go there right now, it's fine. Hey, South Pole, you doing a Nuka World Overboss playthrough? Nice, how you liking it? Oh, hey, George, how you doing? George says you can move that corn closer together. Yeah, but not very. Corn's got a weird radius. I don't know how to, well, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it, but look. I'll show you. Let's go in a... Oh, jeez. Yeah, stupid dog. If you ever want mongrel hound meat, there's a pack of mongrel dogs that's always, uh, oh man, that's always spawning out here near Somerville Place. Like, there's some rad stags that will spawn out here all the time. And then on the other side of the settlement over there, there's a pack of dogs that spawns all the time. Let's see? Let's go down here. What's going on down here? See right where this little green glowing fungus is? There are often rad stags right here. Two or three at a time. Oh, Gage, you lost your helmet. Of course, there's not any right now. Do I hear some? Yeah, there they are. See? They're always down here. Good way to get rad stag meat, rad stag hides. Where's the other one? There you are. <laughs> kind of like out at Abernathy Farm. There's always some rad stags just south of Abernathy. There's always wild dogs and rad stags around here. Alright, so what were we doing? We were going to go look at the corn. Children of the corn. Alright, so if I grab... Let's just find some that's not being touched by the settlers right now. Alright, so you can get it closer together, but not, not very. That's what you get, right? So let's move this one over here. Put it at the end of the row there. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, now this one's going right up on that one. That's weird. That doesn't usually do that. See, like, look at this one. Doesn't want to go in between these two. So 
See, that's about as good as you get. But if you put in... I mean, I might be able to get, you know, five across here or whatever. But if you put in carrots, you get a lot... You can squeeze a lot more in than corn. Look. Alright, even if I could get... See, it doesn't want to go anywhere there. Alright, let's put it over here for now. But with carrots, you can get a lot of carrots in there. Of course, I don't know if I have any carrots right now. Let's look and see. Uh, no. I'm going to have to go grab some. But anyway, carrots I should be able to get, like, a lot. Like, maybe eight or ten down this row in the same spot that I would only get a few corn. And same thing with potatoes. I think we could squeeze a lot more potatoes in. But like corn and mute fruit. Mute fruit I can probably you can probably get mute fruit a little closer to each other than you can corn, but still not much closer. But carrots and potatoes you can squeeze a lot in. Gourds and watermelon take up a lot of space. I never even bother planting those. I mean I they they may serve some kind of purpose, but I don't think they go into any particular recipes. Maybe the gourds do. I don't know if melons do. Maybe in survival mode they're in a special recipe, but I know that at least the mute fruit, potatoes, and corn you make uh, vegetable starch with. And I know that um, carrots go into, I think, squirrel stew or something like that. So that's why I was growing those, but um, also, like I said, they take up a lot less space. Okay, so we're going to have to go to one of my other settlements. Let's head up to Abernathy Farm. Pick a bunch of their food. Grab a bunch of their supplies. And see what we can do. Hey, George says the concrete floors clip through that house's roof pretty easily. Okay. Concrete floors. Why would I want to put concrete floors in the roof? Just to fill it in? <laughs> South Pole says so sentry bots are fun to destroy. Yes, they are. I've never lost anyone before. Oh, God, Ada. Hush your mouth. Hey, Laura! Laura Sierra Rubia. Is it Rubia or Rubla? My eyesight is so bad. The font is very small in my chat room. I can't tell. Is it Laura or Laura? How do you say it? I know some people pronounce it Laura when they spell it like that. Hope South Pole is liking it so far. Being the uh, Nuka World Overboss. You said you were level 10 though. Have you gone to Nuka World and gotten through the gauntlet yet? Or are you still working your way toward it? Alright, come on Ada. Ada, you need to get out. No, you need to get... Oh my god. She's worse than Lydia. Get out of the doorway, Ada. Okay, great. Alright, let's pick some food. Probably should go out to Ten Pines. They've got tons of food yeah. and gray, gray Garden. Because those are my vassal settlements, so I really crammed a lot of food in. <laughs> Quite the contraption you got to Can't say I've seen anything like it. Uh, thank you, I guess. Yeah, grab this stuff too, as long as I'm here. Overboss! Overboss Dovahkeen Waylander is with us. Hey Overboss, how you doing? Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun. <laughs> Overboss says it's the 20th stream anniversary since my poor Dixie was cruelly taken. 
Was it 20 streams ago that I killed her? Aww. Rip in peace, Dixie. <laughs> she was a member of the Disciples, and the Disciples were not one of the gangs I sided with in Nuka World. Oh, I'll take these bottle caps, and I'll take these extra carrots, too, and I'll take that. <gasps> Look at all that fertilizer. Mmm, so much jet. Huh, why do I have those? Okay, whatever. Wow, not much here in the way of materials. I guess I need that. I'll take it. It's got a little magnifying glass next to it. Okay, so let's head over to Red Rocket. I know I could just walk, but uh, I think it loads better if I if I fast travel instead of walking. I think if I walk over it loads weird, and then items fall through the world. Hey Everboss, weren't you mentioning the other day you said something about the Bruma mod for Skyrim? I went and looked it up. The uh, Beyond Skyrim? It's like the... Bruma is the... Uh, isn't that uh, one of the regions in Northern Cyrodiil from... Uh, from Oblivion. So they kind of like added it to Skyrim. Somebody did a mod to, to sort of expand. So you could fr you could keep going south from Skyrim and actually cross over into Cyrodiil. That would be cool. <laughs> right. Poor Jimmy and Jenny were nice children. Little did they know that the stranger helping them plant corn is about to make them slaves. <laughs> I'm about to bully them. I'm about to bully them. Not, not, not quite slavery. They're, they're still free to come and go and, you know, live their lives. But they just have to pay tribute. They have to pay tribute. Otherwise, I will drag them off to Nuka World and make them slaves. Hey, Ryan. Huh? How you doing? How are you? What you working on? What you pounding, huh? All right, uh, let's see, what have I got here? Junk. I guess I'll take some of this stuff. Carrying too much and cannot run. Of course I am. I'm going to give some of it to Gage to haul down there. Oh yeah, I need some oil. Gold bars. <laughs> Speaking of the Sierra Madre, huh? <laughs> we were talking about the the Fallout New Vegas expansions the other day, and gold bars. There's some oil. That's a lot of oil. I'm gonna take a lot of it though, because we're gonna build a lot of turrets down there, and I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> I'm not going to try to intimidate them into being my vassal. I will just persuade them. That'll be much easier. We tried to intimidate uh, Green Top Nursery, and I had built their defenses up so well that uh, <laughs> they were kicking my ass. Made it hard to intimidate them. But persuasion should work just fine. Plus, you know, there's kids down there. I mean, I might be a Raider Overboss, but I'm not a total monster. I do. I do, Gage. And here, you need to carry some of it. You're going to carry some of this, okay? I'll give him the junk. See how much junk he can carry before he's all loaded up. Okay. Good, good job. Good job, Gage. Do I have mods to store here? I think I do. Yeah, I do have a lot of mods. All right.
right. I don't need that either. Look at that. Hey, Nightbot. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, Lara says it's pronounced Lara. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The slog is under attack. Well, the slog's just gonna have to take care of itself. I don't go rushing to help defend anybody. Because, you know what? They'll either take care of themselves or they won't. And if they don't, oh well. It's not gonna do that much damage. I think it takes some of my, uh... Stuff, right? It takes things out of the, uh... Workshop. Relentless harpoon gun. Yeah, alright. Um... Night vision boosted agitated plasma rifle. Hmm. You know, Overboss, I was wondering if I had anything that might make a better Wayland Whisper. Because I've been getting all these weapons lately. I got so many weapons. I don't know if any of them are better than the Wayland Whisper that we have. Now, I can't remember the, the Wayland Whisper that we have. Huh, that one's pretty nice too, maybe? I don't know. We use it when we're shooting mutant suiciders, so I like it to have a nice range and a nice accuracy. But I've found a lot of weapons lately. And there might be one among them that would make a better a better Wayland Whisper. So let's take a look. I wanted to wait until you were watching before I went through all the weapons and picked a new one. Hey Fallout Dude! Fallout Dude says, is it weird I'm watching this while I play Fallout myself? No, that's awesome! I do the same thing. <laughs> Sometimes I play Fallout while I watch myself play Fallout. Or watch other people play things. Yeah. Alright. Weapons workbench. Let's take a look. So many things here. Okay. So, I have this charging laser sniper rifle. It's got a good fire rate. Excellent range. I don't know if the accuracy is as good as Wayland Whisper. Alright. Wayland Whisper's got an accuracy of almost 100. Let's see, I've got this resilient... This gives me 150 damage resistance while reloading. Let's see, that does 60... So it doesn't really matter what the damage is on the Wayland Whisper because, like I said, I tend to use melee and so I tend to use Granny's Kiss when I'm whacking things up close and personal, but it's when I don't want to get up close and personal. I want to shoot something from a distance every once in a while, like a mutant suicider. Um, all I gotta be able to do is hit him in the arm. It doesn't have to do a lot of damage, it's just gotta hit. So range and accuracy are what I'm going for here. But let's see, you know, we can always change things up though. You know, we got a lot of options. These both give me 150 damage resistance while reloading. This one's got excellent range and accuracy. Not a very good fire rate. But I don't know if I can do anything to make that better. I don't like the stock though. Ugh, oh, I can't change the stock without gun nut. What about the magazine on it? I could change the magazine. Alright, or we have other options. Look at that thing. Look at that beautiful thing. That's really pretty. The range and accuracy aren't quite as good, but that could be because of the bayonet. If we took the bayonet off, the range would improve. 
And let's see here. Well, if I was able to add a scope, the accuracy would improve. I don't know. And then we got this thing. Look at that. Ooh, look at the accuracy on that. And the fire rate. That's... Oh, I think I like that one better. Yeah, look at that. The 308. Oh, yeah, I do like a 308. That's what I had in Fallout New Vegas. It's a 308 sniper rifle. I like that a lot. That's really pretty, too. Ooh, and I've got this I could put on it. Oh, I like that. I don't know. Okay, that's a contender for sure. I got Reba, but it just... It does more damage against my lurks, but that's not really what I'm using it for. I mean, it's got great range and accuracy, but... That's not what I'm using it for, you know what I mean? Like, I'm using it just to shoot Super Mutant, so... I don't know... I don't really see the point of these nocturnal weapons. I mean, I want a weapon that's going to do me good during the day and night. I don't want to have to worry about what time of day it is when I'm using my weapons, you know? That's that's not a thing. Okay, I'm not doing that. Night vision calibrated powerful combat sniper rifle. Huh. Is this... That's a 45 though. Is it similar to this? This is just a 308 receiver with a long scope. Accuracy 112. Yeah, about the same. Range 185. The range is a little better on this one. That does 51. That does 59. Yeah, okay. I don't think that one is as good, but what's it? It's got a large quick eject mag. Medium quick eject mag. Ooh. Can I take that off? And put it on the other one? I can. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do that. Let's do that since I'm leaning towards this one anyway. And then, okay, now uh, we could also start getting into some laser stuff. So I've got a charging laser sniper rifle, excellent aim, uh, accuracy and range. I've also got the focused boosted fiery laser rifle, which I believe sets things on fire, which could be a lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? That could be cool. Adds burning damage. So, you know, we could switch over to a laser rifle over boss. I'm just saying. Hey, Daniel Walker, how are you? Oh, yeah, George says you could build an upper tier to that farm area at Somerville and use the planters. Oh, that's kind of what I did down at... Uh, What's that one way down south that's really crappy? One of the settlements down there that's like in the swamp. I use those planters. Oh, Overboss says, does this mean you're going to stream Bruma Skyrim on PC for us, Jewel? No, I can't stream from PC. I stream from PS4. Hey, Von Collert! How you doing? Thanks for joining us! Overboss says Reba 2 is about the best sniper in the game. Is it? Let's look at Reba 2. Reba 2 says range 215, accuracy 112. And this is the one I kind of like. Yeah, the range... The accuracy is the same. The range isn't quite as high. But I really like this one. I just do. I just think it's pretty. Of 
course, this one's going to do more damage against Marlurks if I wanted to shoot a Marlurk from far away. I don't like the bolt action. I think that's part of my problem, too, is I'm not crazy about the bolt action of it. Because look at the fire rate. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go with this one. Um, but what's going to change the accuracy? I'm sorry, the range on it. Yeah, I think what's going to change the range on it? No, this affects the accuracy, not the range. The barrel, it affects the range. Yeah. That's the best barrel we can get on that one. But you know what it might be? It might be the compensator that's reducing the range. Hang on. Yeah, look at that. See, if we took the compensator. What's the compensator doing? Improving the recoil control. Yeah, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. We could take it off. We could take off the compensator and it will have better range on this one. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm going to make this one the new Wayland Whisper. I'm really liking this one. I'm feeling it. Is that all right with you? The best range is the ported barrels. Oh, yeah. But this is pretty good. This is pretty good. See, it doesn't. I can't do the long, the long ported barrel until I get gun nut rank two, which may not happen for a while because I'm not really focusing on ballistic weapons in this playthrough. You don't want to switch over to laser, a fiery laser. That's got a heck of a range on it. Not as much accuracy though. Yeah. Okay. But look at that one. I don't know. I'm I'm really I'm really liking this one just because of the fire rate. The range isn't as good as Reba, but the fire rate and the damage are, are better. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. Let me check in with the chat room. <laughs> oh, gotta go, George. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Vault Tech. Somebody with the username Vault Tech Inc. says hello. Hello, Vault Tech. <laughs> Alright, I am going to rename this one Wayland Whisper. Should it be Wayland or Waylands? I'm going to go with Wayland's apostrophe Whisper. Wayland's Whisper 3, right? Because right now we only have Wayland's Whisper 2. Oh no, we already did Wayland Whisper 3. Okay, so this should be a 4. Oh, this one gives me improved VAT's hit chance and costs less action points. Hmm. I'm going with it. I'm going with it. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. What the heck? I'm going to strip the mods off of this. And then I'm going to scrap it. <laughs> I know, I'm just messing about with weapons. What the heck? Stripping them of their mods.
Yep. Don't care. We'll scrap it. It's fine. Scrapping it. There we go. There we go. Long ported barrel. Yeah. Nice. Long night vision scope? Night vision, superior magnification, and sight accuracy. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's do that. I like this. I like it. That is beautiful. I like that so much. All right. Maxis, hey dragon. We're we're messing about making a new Wayland Whisper. This is the new Wayland's Whisper. This was the old one, the previous the previous incarnation, which was actually the third Wayland Whisper. Here's the fourth one. A little bit different damage. And fire rate. I don't know. Look at there. Yeah, accuracy is a little better. I just like the way it looks. I don't like the bolt action. I like that. I don't know. We can always switch back. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to scrap it. We'll go see how it feels. I do want to. I do want to change this a little bit, though. I don't like the short stock. It needs a. Uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. I don't know. This is pretty nice too. Damage resistance while reloading. Or we could just modify this paddle ball. <laughs> Look at that. I had no idea you could do that with the paddle balls. Bladed ball, electrified ball. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Fireball. Adds fire damage. Weaponized Nuka Cola ball. That's pretty cool. We might have to mess about with these paddle balls. I had no idea that I could do these with the paddle balls. Adds large explosion on impact. Oh wow, that could be fun. <laughs> I like the fireball though, that's pretty cool. All right. So many weapons. All right. Let's get on with things. Let's go. I'm going to go store all these back in the armory. The armory slash bedroom. There we go.
There's Reba. Here, let's put these. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put Wayland, the old, the previous Wayland Whisper, right there. We can come back and get it if we want to. And then we're gonna put. those there and we'll put Reba up here there we go now I'm gonna have to favorite the new Wayland Whisper for uh, favorite is R1 that's where I like him to be <laughs> Oh, I can level up. That's right. I leveled up to level 50. What perk should I take? Okay. Uh, where Maxis was asking uh, Overboss if he wanted Wayland's Whisper to become a Gauss rifle. But Overboss says, uh, I prefer ballistics to energy weapons. In an ideal world, it would be a crossbow, right? <laughs> where Maxis says, well, the Gauss rifle is both ballistic and energy. And Overboss says, yeah, but it looks ugly. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. The Gauss rifle is definitely very clunky looking i mean it, it looks very heavy and very clunky and i know that it's like super powerful and cool and stuff but yeah i couldn't really get into using it either even as fiona i preferred the uh the plasma or a good 10 millimeter all right well we'll stick with ballistics for you then over boss we won't switch over to plasma or laser yeah or the nine millimeter right from the older Fallout games. All right, so what are we gonna do? We have perks. We could take armorer. Oh, right, I wanna do animal friend because in order to capture animals for my pack settlements, I have to have animal friend and I have to have wasteland whisperer. This one here. Uh, but that's gonna require me to get a higher charisma. Great. That means more raiders in my damn settlements. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I really don't want Animal Friend, to be honest. But if I want to be able to capture animals and have them wandering around in the pack settlements, in the pack outposts, I have to be able to build one of those beta wave transmitter things to keep all the animals peaceful. And I can't build that unless I have these perks. So, I don't know, is it worth getting now or or not? Because, you know, I could stand to have some rad resistance. Of course, I'm always in power armor, so it wouldn't matter. I could stand to have an adamantium skeleton reducing limb damage. Not that that's that big of a deal when I'm always in power armor, but, you know. Um, I could stand to have... Where's the damage resistance? There we go. I can stand to have some more toughness. I'm gonna go ahead and go with toughness. Oh, overbosses love animal friend for the things you can say to them. Really? I didn't know that. I guess I never really used it. I think I think Fiona had it but never used it gain a chance to pacify it. I guess I never wanted to take the risk. I just shot him. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna go for... Does this damage resistance stack with my power armor? Or is it when I'm not in power armor? I don't know. I don't know. I could do strong back. 
So I can fast travel when over encumbered. Oh, that would be handy. Then I could get a whole bunch of junk and take it down to Somerville Place. All right, let's do that. You guys know how much I love to loot. All right, but submit your suggestions for the next perks. Because if I'm going to build animal traps, I'm going to have to get higher charisma and get this one. Don't know if I really should bother or not. Same if I'm going to do chemist. If I'm going to be able to make chems, I need that perk. But I need to get more intelligence in order to get it. Rose isn't very bright. <laughs> Of course, she's not very perceptive either. I guess I could stand to get some more perception. Yeah, then I would be able to get some energy resistance. Huh, yeah. Eh, we'll see. All right. Let's go grab some more. Oh, Ryan Seepy. Cuddle. Let's see what's Ryan. Uh, let's get some more junk out of here to take down there and build up my settlement. What's going to be my vassal? I've already got lots of oil. Eh, that's probably enough crap to take down there and get started. What do you think? Quite a rad storm. Let's head down to Somerville Place. All right, going down to Somerville Place. Way back down here. Yes. And then we can build a recruitment beacon, get some schmucks, build up another farmhouse, some kind of barracks or something to put them in. I don't think I'm going to go to the trouble of building lots of separate... When Fiona built up Somerville Place, she built lots of separate little houses, little shacks for everybody so they each had their own little place. Which I thought was a little more realistic. But don't really care about that. Hey. Need some don't care about being nice More than happy to hold in this playthrough. I want it to be realistic, but I don't necessarily care about being nice. Giving everybody nice cushy places to live. <laughs> Making everyone comfortable and happy. That's not Rose's goal. That was Fiona's goal. All right. So, let's see here. We have a farmhouse. Pitiful, pitiful farmhouse. Oh, this is where he plays with his kids. Look, they got toys and Nuka Cola. There's their, there's their itty bitty beds. All right. I'm gonna turn this around so he's not sleeping. There we go. He was sleeping the other way around. I don't know why it was like that. 
That was weird. Okay. Um. Yep, Dad is drinking. <laughs> hey there. He's got a little place over here. Got some buff out. Yep. All right. Let's build defenses. I need some turrets. Let's get this place going here. I know I've said it before and I'll say it again. It just seems kind of weird that I'm like I'm helping them build the place up and then when I come back in to take it over they're all angry about it. Like oh they're mad that I told them they had to share with my raiders. Well you know I'm the one that built this whole place up so like <laughs> shouldn't they want to supply my raiders? I don't know. There we go. All right, here's all those dogs that we killed when we were here. I will loot all of them if I haven't already. I guess I looted those already. All right, and we should have a whole bunch of food. Let me get out of my power armor. take out the fusion core so no one will take it. There we go. Alright, so let's, well okay first of all let's get a recruitment beacon going. I still can't build crystal. I need crystal? Crystal and ceramic, huh? Okay. Okay, I can build a generator, so let's do that. Where are we going to put it? Let's put it over here for now. Alright, crystal and ceramic, huh? Are you trying to talk to me, buddy? You keep following me around. What's your, what's your business? What's your major malfunction? Alright, well then I'll go ahead and throw down the corn or the uh, carrots or whatever. There we go, carrots. Okay, so let's see let's see what we can do with carrots. because he's in the way. Hey kid, you need to move. Come on. Beat it kid, you're bothering me. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so how many did we get in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, we got eight in there. In the same space we could get four corn. So, alright. I'm just, I'm gonna squeeze in as much as I can. Let's do... how about potatoes? How many potatoes can we squeeze in here?
All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We squeezed in eight potatoes. Okay, so corn and tato, or I'm sorry, carrots and potatoes could squeeze in about twice as much as you can get out of corn. All right. Let's do a row of carrots again. go. I'll leave that corn over there for now, but I'm going to do, let's see. Yeah, see gourds, gourds just take up so much room. I could probably get like three gourds in here. So, and the same with the melons. I could probably get like two or three melons in here in this row. All right, mute fruit. All right, mute fruit. Mute fruit, I like to replace the mute fruit around these dead bushes so it looks pretty, like it's like they're growing again. Like that, see there? Are nice. Look at there. Isn't that nice? There we go. I don't think I have any more potatoes to plant. Let me take a look. No, I got lots of corn though. Or, oh well, yeah, I got corn. Got carrots. Yeah, I don't have any more potatoes. Alright, so let's go with carrots. Let's go with carrots. at the end of the row there? Yeah, it is. Come on, little Billy. Get out of the way. Piece of shit. Actually, I feel really sorry for the kids in the wasteland, man. It's gotta suck. go. All right. Got lots of food planted. So I got to go get some, what do I need? Crystal and ceramic. All right. Crystal and ceramic. Let's just hop over to Egret Tours. Talk to that gear dealer. He's probably got some things with crystal and ceramic in them. Hey, Diego Gonzalez says, hi. Hi. Thanks for stopping by. And for saying hello in the chat room. Let me check up with the chat room. Hey, Dragon, I'm sorry. I, I think I, I thought I'd already said hi to you, but if I haven't, I'm going to say hi again. <laughs> How you doing? All 
Oh, Romaxis is suggesting rank two of rooted or bloody mess. Yeah, I'm thinking hard about that bloody mess perk. That's true. I didn't use bloody mess as Fiona. I might want to try it out. Of course, I don't know if I need to do any more damage than I already do. I'm already whacking things and knocking them to pieces. Whacking heads off and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go down here, this guy. It ain't the big bad over, boss. Couldn't have shown up a year ago, huh? Hey there. I thought about trying my hand at the gauntlet. Just oh to man, is this it. guy doing it too? Waste of time now. No He's not giving me the uh, the gear dealer. Oh, this was happening earlier before I started streaming. Why is this not working? Like, it's not even giving me the chance to store it. Just scrap it. That's really weird. Oh, here we go. I can place it. Nope. Alright, I'm going to scrap this and I'm going to rebuild it. Because I don't know what's going on there. There's something weird. It doesn't seem to be happening at other settlements, but it's happening... Here at Egret Tours. Look at now it's not even giving me the option to build Raider Shops. You see that? That's really bizarre. I've got the booth stand. Is this guy working properly? We'll take care of the territory, boss. After all. You put it in good hands. Hey, boss. Looking for a stiff drink? Okay, so I can get Let's into his. Have. Everything I've got. He's giving me the dialogue. But that other guy wasn't. Oh, now I've got the stores. All right, so here's the gear dealer. Let's try this again. I don't know why it's not working. That's really weird. Let's go grab a raider and assign them. Let's, let's try a female. Maybe the dude's just glitched. Let's try a woman. Is there a female up here? Uh, that's a dude. That's a dude. It's hard to tell the difference <laughs> in their operator outfits. Do you need a job? Alright, come on. Come on, she's heavy on the eyeliner. Come on, Miss Eyeliner. Let's go assign you to the gear shop. I wanna buy some crystal and some ceramic from you. Let's see if there's any crystal and ceramic I can take out of the workshop here. There's a lot of vodka. I'll take that and sell it to her. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff here. Yeah, I'll take that. That's got crystal. That's got ceramic. Alright. And there's Crystal. Excellent. Hey, I didn't even need her.
and gears. Nice. I might need that. Yeah. But what I need is also some... Well, there's lots of wood out there. I'm not going to worry about wood. Okay. One way or another. Still useful. All right. Well, we got some crystal. We got some ceramic. Hey, I got a little bit of everything. You buying? Sure. Let's see what you got. Oh, well, maybe I gotta wait for her to stand behind her booth. All right. There you go. Hey there. Never did get why Coulter brought in three gangs to claim Muka World. Oh, I mean, see? The minute she's rough. standing behind that, she's not giving me... The operator's the good life, ain't you, boss? Oh, for fuck's sake. So now she's not giving me the dialogue when she's standing behind it. Alright, come over here. That's weird. That's a glitch. That's serious glitch. Hey, you looking to stock up? I can help. See, if she's Let's not standing there, there then she's got the sale. Oh, and she has no inventory. Oh, jeez. Alright, well. God damn it. Todd Howard. You know, honestly. Over boss. Making trouble. I'm not a violent person, but sometimes I really just want to punch him. Right in this little Bosmer face. I can't believe that I simultaneously love and hate something so much. <laughs> As Bethesda games. Ugh. Make me crazy. Let, let me check up with the chat room. Sorry, you guys. If I miss comments, I'll try to catch up. Hi, Deb. Thanks for stopping by and for saying hi. Oh, gosh. Somebody's got with the username Strong and an icon that looks like Strong from Fallout 4 saying, hey. <laughs> I subbed. Well, thank you. Oh wow, Remax says it's a shame you can't steal the Nern root from the Pridwin to plant in your settlements. Oh, that would be cool. There's Nern root on the Pridwin? I never went on the Pridwin as Fiona, and I haven't been on the Pridwin yet as uh, as Rose. I had no idea. Alright, so here we are. What was I going to build? Alright, recruitment beacon. We are in Somerville Place. I am trying to turn it into a vassal in my raider empire. I already have eight raider outposts, so I have the Wasteland Warlord perk, which means I can build tribute chests in my raider outposts. And But the thing is, is that raiders don't like to farm. They don't like to grow their own food. So you have to try to get food from the other farms and settlements. Now, I can access this settlement's workshop because they like me, but as soon as I turn them into a vassal, as soon as I bully them for their lunch money and say, hey, you have to give me some of your food or else my raiders will kick your ass, they're not going to like me anymore and I won't be able to access the, uh, the workshop any longer. So I've got to build up this settlement as much as I want to build it up before I subjugate them, before I vassalize them, or whatever you want to call it. We'll scrap that and scrap that. Hey Remaxis, I don't see a shitter. Where are these people going to the bathroom? In my Fiona playthrough, I turned this little room into the bathroom. I thought it only made sense. But maybe we can put a little uh, a little outhouse out here. 
What the heck? Put a little outhouse. If we put it right there, that's where the wild dogs come in. <laughs> gonna dig a latrine out here in the bushes sure let's put it in the bushes I need more concrete and they need more water and oh my gosh there's already two new people here <gasps> where did you people come from and I don't have the concrete do I Nope, I do not. I'm gonna get them some water and I need some concrete. Okay. Let's go get some concrete. Where are we gonna get concrete? Well, let's hop over here since the gear seller at Egret Tours seems to be fucked up. We'll go to Jamaica Plain and see if we can buy anything from them or if all the settlements are screwed up now. Hey, Mouse Guard, how you doing? Mouse Guard says, hey Jules, dream's looking good. Hope all is well. Well, thank you. I am doing well. <laughs> Other than uh, some of my Raider outposts seem to be glitched. Because Azra Maxis and, Va oh, Van Collert. Yes, we've all, and, and George, and Oberboss, and <laughs> Crowded Granny, and as we all know, it just works. <laughs> Fun Collar beat me to it. It just works. Yeah. Yeah, we all know. It just works. Hi, Comet. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. <laughs> Overboss says yes. <clears throat> it's the game that makes you crazy, right? I know. Crazier. Yeah, I'm crazy enough on my own. Okay, so here's here's Jamaica Plains. I changed it around a little bit, you guys, since the last time I worked on it. I took out because there's not much of a hot bar here, and I know I can cheaty cheat. I can drop weapons and scrap them and I can get some of that hot bar back. I don't want to cheat too much because it ends up making the game lag and makes things crash and gets all stupid. And Jamaica Plain is already a stupid settlement anyway because really, really, if you settled here, you would settle the whole town, not just this corner of it. It's kind of dumb, but anyway. Uh, so I changed this around to try to get some of the hot bar back so I could build a tribute chest and whatnot. So here we have a little wall on this side. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? That's beautiful right there. There's our flags of the operators. Here's a guard post. We can come in right here. This is where I put the tribute chest. Let's see if there's anything in it. Nope, it's still empty. Okay. A little workshop area back here. I put a bunch of beds in here. Oh, everybody's sleeping at night. Looky there. And I put a bunch of beds in here. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, dude. I'm, I'm so working on it, and I love those glasses. Can I, I talk just, to you? I just want to trade a few things. Let me. Can I borrow those for a second? Let me borrow those for a second. Thanks. I just, I just want to borrow those. I want to try those out. I saw somebody wearing those the other day. I thought they were pretty damn cool. Let's see what they look like. I know I've already got operator goggles on, but it's, it's two different things. There's glasses and there's goggles. And I can't see myself because it's nighttime. Uh, no need to worry, boss. We've got you back. Uh-huh. Gage, shine some light on me, will you? My pit boy is not lighting me up. All right, everybody's in here sleeping. Feel sorry for this dude having to sleep right here by this big open hole. These people can't seem to figure out how to get in their beds. 
suppose you just beat us to it. I think I like those. Let's go take a look. Where can you not? They, even when I played through as Fiona in my first playthrough, it seemed like people had a really hard time pathing to these beds. Like they can't seem to figure out how to get into these beds right here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to assign those beds to the people who are on guard duty because guard duty guards never sleep. So let's take you. See, this is the fun and excitement you get to have playing Fallout 4 and doing settlement management. Even as a raider overboss, you have to manage your raider outposts. And have everybody doing what they need to do. And we'll take this guy and we'll assign him to a bed. Um, excuse you? Can you move, please? Oh my god, that burst. Alright. You come here. Oh, you're already assigned to something. Well, never mind then. Are you assigned anything? No. Come here. You can't seem to get into your own damn bed. So you just come out here and go on guard duty. How about that? There we go. And there's 20 beds and 19 raiders and yet some of these beds are not being used. Brilliant. It's brilliant. Come here. Why don't you sleep right there? Can you get in that bed? Or are you not able to climb into it because this thing's in the way? Because you're just that damn dumb. Alright, anyway. It's the middle of the night, so of course the gear dealer is not open. So let's cop a squat. And of course I can't sit there because apparently you can't sit in a couch that's right there on the fucking porch. Alright. Oh, this game. Alright, let's scrap that then. And just sit over here. How about that? There you go. And we'll wait a few hours until sunrise and I'll check up with the chat room. Hi hey, Extreme Panda. Extreme Panda says, are you playing with mods or no? No, I am not. I have not gotten into mods. I'm on PS4 and started playing Fallout 4 before they got mods and also played Skyrim before there were mods and I just kind of got used to it without mods. Oh, Greg says, have you finished the game yet? Um, in my first playthrough I did. This is my second playthrough. Respect around here. You gotta earn it. Of course, handing over new abodes hasn't hurt. For my second playthrough, I'm doing a Nuka World Overboss playthrough. So I'm not going through the main story. I've been building raider outposts and vassal settlements and doing Nuka World. And there's no gear dealer. It seems like all of my gear shops in my Raider Outposts are glitched. Where is the gear guy? Maybe he's guzzling some booze before he gets to work. Alright, let's assign- oh there's the guy. Is that the guy? He was just trying to go to work and now I've robbed him of his job. All right, what about this guy? Hey there. You need some supplies. You're in the right place. All right. I've got a few minutes to browse. See something you like. You just say the word. He's kind of cute. All right, so we need some cement. Let's just buy and see if he has a shipment. Yeah, shipment of concrete. We'll take that. Which one should I get? I'll get this one, why not? Yes. 
Some dude says hello. Hello, some dude. Extreme Panda says, is it on normal? Yeah, I think so. I think this is just, uh, I'm not doing survival mode. It's just whatever the default uh, difficulty setting is. But I should dial it up because this is getting way too easy. There we go. Back to Somerville Place. Extreme Panda says, Jewel Smith, do you have any tips on Fallout 4? I just got the game yesterday and haven't played it yet. And I'm I'm on PS4 too. Uh, do I have any tips? <laughs> Ooh, that's, uh, yeah. But it just kind of depends on what it is you want to do in the game. Uh, there's several videos on my YouTube channel from my first playthrough. Look, this dude keeps following me. Look at him. Look at him following me. He keeps following me. Like, he's got something he wants to say to me. Well, I'm glad to see you. We can really what? Hand. Dude, I already helped you once. Are you in some kind of trouble? A pack of feral ghouls have holed up nearby. Some of them have started wandering out. Are you kidding me? Is he, this is the same quest he sent me on already once. Run. We need someone to clear them out. Okay. I'll give it a try. Oh, I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, Gage hated that. He hates when you help people. Ghoul problem at kill the ghouls in Mass Pike Tunnel. Alright, great. Um, didn't I already kill a bunch of ghouls for you? You jackass. You know, this is what you get for settling way the fuck out here on the edge of the glowing sea in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, my first playthrough as Fiona, she joined the Minutemen and she helped all the settlers and she built up all the settlements. And you can see my settlement tour series on my YouTube channel. You can see her fighting the Brotherhood of Steel on my YouTube channel. You can see her running around with Hancock doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I didn't actually stream the main storyline though. I didn't start streaming Fallout 4. Uh, I didn't start doing this channel until after I'd already played through the main storyline. I might get around to doing the main storyline again with Rose one of these days. But uh, my goal with Rose was just to do all the raider stuff. And that's what I'm working on right now. Alright, so we got a bunch of people living here. I need to build some kind of house for them. Right, we needed to build more water as well. That's why I got the cement. Alright. Water. Water. And I still don't have enough ceramic. Are you kidding me? I forgot to get ceramic. Alright, what can I what can I scrap in here that's ceramic? How about this? There we go. Ceramic. Booyah. Let's put this thing right here. That works for me. Alright, this is a special kind of water pump that does not require water. And I believe it was either added by Contraptions or by the Wasteland Workshop expansions. It's an add-on thing, so. Uh, it doesn't come standard in the basic game. But we need to power it up, which means we need to build a generator that will supply at least four power. And I don't have the rubber to do that. Excellent. What happens if I scrap this? Do I get some rubber? I do. Yay! Hang on just one second. I gotta check in on baby Jewel Smith. Daddy's supposed to be picking her up from camp, but I don't know if he showed up. Let me ask Joel Smith Jr. to go give them a call and make sure all has gone well. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see here. And I say baby Joel Smith, but she's a teenager. She's, she's my youngest. 
Jill Smith Jr. is my oldest daughter, and baby Jill Smith is my youngest. I guess we can just leave that there for now. There you go. Now they've got lots of water. But they need more beds. Yes, of course they do. So we're going to build another farmhouse, maybe right out here. We're going to build some neighbors are going to move in. <laughs> I don't know. Where should we build the farmhouse? Let me look at the natural lay of the land. I know it doesn't really matter, but as you're approaching, there's a farmhouse. This is the road. Seems like another farmhouse should go like right here. How much room do we have to work with? Oh, a lot of room. Okay, yeah, right here. This is where the other farmhouse should go. Can I scrap that? No? No, it's not letting me scrap. Okay. How about that one? Yes. Chop down all these trees. Excellent. How about that one? No? No? Yeah, so I don't know. It would be really hard for me to give tips. Have you played any Fallout games before? Let's start there. Because really, I don't think this game is all that hard. I mean, it's... It's, it's pretty straightforward. You know? And... It really just depends on how you want to play. If you want to play with Ballistic weapons, you want to play with energy weapons, you want to play melee. Right now, this, this playthrough with Rose as my sole survivor, that's the Nuka World Overboss, she's a melee build, so she's wearing power armor and using a baseball bat most of the time. But Fiona used a 10 millimeter and she was doing stealth and snipe. I mean, the, like the kind of companion that you want to use and the perks you want to get and all of that just really depends on how you want to play the game. All right, I'm going to build another farmhouse like right here. So let's do that. What kind of farmhouse shall we build? Shall we build something like a barn? Shall we build something like the warehouse pieces? would kind of match this farmhouse. I don't think I want to build a barn. I don't know. Maybe I could build a barn and it's like everybody's living in the barn. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, then people can live in the barn. Old ruined barn next to the farmhouse. That's where everybody's living. I think I like that idea. go. How do I want to do the roof though? Let's see. So I want to know how wide I want to make the roof because I think I want to put one of these on. Not an outhouse. I don't want to put an outhouse on top of the barn. I want to put one of these cupolas. Is that how you say that? That would be cool up on top. But it's got to be a two-story barn with a loft. Yeah, definitely. All right. With some big barn doors. Yeah. 
Big barn doors. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. It'll be kind of like the big giant barn that I built out at a uh, Dalton Farm in my Fiona playthrough. You can see that video in my settlement tour series. built a big barn. I built a big barn at it in the uh, Nuka rocket station too. And you know, I think I built a barn at Somerville Place in that playthrough as well. Yeah, there's a smallish barn that I used for the uh, little Minutemen headquarters. Because with Fiona, since she was the general of the Minutemen, um, some of the settlements she would have um, Minutemen guards. That's a door. Yes, it is. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Now I gotta put a roof on this thing. Let's see. Anyway, but yeah, Somerville Place was, uh, because it's way down here on the edge of the glowing sea, I made it a, uh, a little, had a little Minutemen outpost. I mean, it had settlers and stuff, but it also had a Minutemen outpost. And they were, they were outposted in the, in the barn. <laughs> That's how that worked. All right, so this part back here is going to be the loft. I got to put some walls on it though. There we go. Should have a back door. Do barns have back doors? They do. They do, don't they? Yeah, alright. This one is. This one's gonna have a back door. That's fine. Alright, I wanna go inside. It needs a back door, though. There we go. Okay, let me check up with the chat room. <laughs> Sorry, I, when I get to building, I I, uh, I lose track of the chat room. Let's see here. Romaxis says you keep saying you're gonna do you're gonna increase the difficulty and then forget to do it. Okay, you know what? I should just do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. But I think what's gonna happen is that the screen's gonna turn blue. I don't think it's gonna actually show you uh, the options screen. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it right now. You should still be able to hear my voice. Settings. All right. I'm gonna go to settings. How uh, would it be under gameplay? Difficulty. Yes. Normal. There we are. Let's dial it up to there's hard, very hard, and survival. Okay, let's let's go to uh, let's go to very hard. Screw that. I mean hard. Eh. Yeah, let's do very hard. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I don't want to do survival mode. I don't want to have to worry about all that noise. But I will go up to very hard. All difficulty levels affect damage and the chance to encounter legendary enemies. Survival adds additional challenges such as no fast travel and saving only when you sleep. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Alright, but we'll, we'll go to very hard. So there you go. Oh, and it did show you. The screen didn't turn blue. Excellent. See? You saw me do it. 
I did it just for you, Remaxis. <laughs> nah, I, I've been meaning to do it for a long time, and then I always forget. Hey, Masked Man, how you doing? <laughs> Overboss's tip number one, don't kill Dixie and upset your viewers. <laughs> She had to go. She had to go, over boss. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah, Remaxis, you get a lot more legendary enemies in very hard mode. Eh. Okay. I don't really care about the legendary items. Unless it's like the legendary baseball bat of walloping everything. I mean, I'm already... There's not really any legendaries that I need. Or that I would use, probably. I don't know, maybe some better legendary armor. I could I could stand to have. But then I'm always in power armor anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably get my ass kicked in like the next five seconds anyway. Is that the glowing sea or is that the sun setting? Yeah, it's the sun setting in the west. What time is it? Yeah, it's six. Okay, so that's the sun setting over the glowing sea. Nice. All right, let's open this up. Going inside, and we want to build a loft. So let's do that. Floors for the loft. There we go. And stairs. Now, they seem to have a hard time passing up these stairs, at least in my experience. But we'll see how it goes. All right, coming up to the loft. Nope. One more piece of floor. There we go. There we go. Alright, I guess I'll just leave it there then. I didn't want to move you anyway. See, and then this is where we use these pieces, right? There we go. It's a pretty high ceiling for a barn, though. Don't you think? Ah, that's fine. Whatever. Okay. We'll go for it. pieces. There we go. Nice. 
Nope, not gonna go in there. Okay. So here's the loft. Here's the barn. We can put so many beds in here. This will be great. Oh, you know what? We could widen it even. We could make it really huge. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we're going to have to do. I don't know. What do you think? It's already pretty big. That's a pretty big barn right there. I'm going to turn it around though. Come on. There we go. pretty cool. Should we leave it up on the hill or should we move it down here? Maybe we should move it down here next to the field. That's where I put the barn in my Fiona playthrough is I put it down here next to the field. So the field was in between the barn and the farmhouse. Yeah, let's move it. Let's move it. See, like right here. Right there. Or we can widen it a little bit. If we widen it a little bit. Let's let's put it here for now. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't widen it. <laughs> maybe I should just leave it like it is. Alright, I'll leave it like it is. We'll just put it here next to the field. Take a look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, it's like it was made to go there. Oh, look at that. Oh, how sweet. It's like it belongs there. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scrap this door. I'm going to say that door just isn't there anymore. Maybe a little wooden walkway? Yeah? go. Ah, uh, no, I know what we're going to do. Hang on. There we go. I wish you could put it on the corner. 
I mean, you can, kind of, but you have to, like, you have to fiddle with it. Look, you gotta do this. Let's see, it's gonna keep wanting to snap on there. And not stay in the corner. God damn it. Piece of shit. Alright, now let's do this. Nope, it's not gonna let me do it, huh? Fine. See, I wanna put it like right there into the corner. That's where I want it to be. But we can't have nice things. See, we can't have nice things. Okay, that's fine. We'll just do that. That's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. There we go. Alright, so this is where we're going to put all the beds. Lots of beds. Lots of cots. Shitty little cots. probably get, uh, I don't know, sometimes they have a hard time passing. We'll just do it like that. We'll put some up here. Sleeping in the loft. Don't fall out. <laughs> if I put one under the stairs, they probably won't be able to get into it because they're that dumb. What am I out of? I'm out of cloth. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That should be enough to get us started. Oops, so to be growing we well. got some potatoes growing. I'm going to take all this food back to my raiders <laughs> who keep complaining how hungry they are. You can do that. You can just take food and put it into the workshop in the raider outpost and they'll eat it. But they'll probably still complain how hungry they are because there's no food coming in. Or not enough food coming in from the vassal settlements. All right, but I'd say we're getting really close. This is a this is a good a good effort. Let's see how much food we're making right now. Got five people. We're making twenty seven food. Well, we should be making thirty food, but I think the kids are slacking off. I don't think the kids do as much food as they as the adults. I don't know. What about you, buddy? Come here. Let's make sure you're assigned to as much food as you can. Or is everything assigned? Maybe I just need to plant more food and he'll, they'll do it. Yeah, it looks like there's not any that don't have, that aren't being tended. Ah, okay, I get you, I get you. It's cool. All right. Here I am complaining and he's like, nah boss, I'm doing my job. 
All right. Let's just plant a little more then and see what happens. Oh, yeah, see the food went up to 28. Yeah, see, they're, they're doing them. I don't want it to be like floating out there in the breeze though. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. See, 29. All right, all right, cool. Ah, oh, 30. All right. So we did get, I just didn't have enough food planted. So it was all my fault, not theirs. Cool. Well, let's let's plant some more. Let's take out this corn. Cause you can we can squeeze in a lot more potatoes than corn. So let's do it. Oh, I've only got four though. Well, I'll have more soon. You're new. She needs to have some food. All right, well let's let's add some mute fruits over here. Sure. Let's add some mute fruit to the little mute fruit bushes over here.
All right, we should be getting 36 out of this, but I think I messed up the kids. Kids were doing some, and then I took away their food and was rearranging things, so now I don't know, but... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. All right. But I put up a recruitment beacon. We've already had three people show up. So we are well on our way. And we have the barn built over here that is full of beds. And look, there's people already sleeping in it. Looky there. We need to get some more cloth. And continue working on this settlement. Hey, Sender. Sender says, I subscribed. Well, thank you. Let me check up with the chat room. Sorry, everybody. I get to building and then I'm not paying attention to the chat room. There I am. Rose, the Nuka World Overboss. I am building up this settlement so that I can then turn them into a vassal and force them to supply food to my raiders. I think I've gotten, the, the chat room's gotten way far away from me. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, I just dialed up my difficulty. Yeah, it's going to be very hard now. Uh oh, Remaxis says, be careful. You probably won't survive nuclear explosions from the suiciders now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh oh. Remaxis says, I didn't realize that dead drops from the railroad could send you to locations from the DLCs. I just got told to go clear an area in Far Harbor for Randolph Safe House. Oh, wow. I guess it's kind of like Skyrim. You can get random quests to send you out to Solstheim or whatever. Yeah. Uh oh, and you're on survival? Oh no, that's gonna be rough. You can uh, overboss is suggesting I sell the kids to that raider guy near Quincy. Hey, yeah, we could go do the kid in the fridge thing. I haven't done that as Rose yet. I did it as Fiona. Remaxis says there's 28 people watching. Is that a new record? It might be. Well, 25 watching now. Wow. <laughs> I know. And all I'm doing is working on building settlements. I'm not even doing anything terribly exciting. Hey, Emiliano says, how much internet speed upload do you have, Joel Smith? That's a good question. Um, I haven't checked it in a while, but I pay for, uh, I think it's called Ethernet. So I don't know what, I haven't done a speed test today. <laughs> oh, the camera's circling around me because I'm waiting too long. There we go. Uh, let me check, uh, let me do a speed test and I can tell you. Now, I was paying Time Warner Cable for 6 megabytes per second upload speed. And that was enough to do live streaming. And it looks like I'm still only getting about 5 or 6 megabit upload. That's weird. I should be getting a lot better upload speeds than that because I'm paying for fiber. That's what it is. That's what you call it. You call it fiber. Yeah, I should have really fast upload speeds. But you, I think you need at least like three or four to be able to do a live stream. So long as you're not trying to upload anything else at the same time. Hey Gerald, how you doing? Good to see you again. Yeah, fiber, fiber cable, whatever, ethernet stuff. Yep, that's what I've got. Took forever though. I just recently moved. I did have cable and then I moved and I got fiber and uh, it was taking forever for them to get it installed properly. So I, don't, I still don't know if it's working right. Doesn't seem to be. I just did a speed test and it wasn't very fast. <laughs> but uh, they were doing speed tests right after they hooked it up and it was like hundreds. It wasn't like six like it used to be. It was hundreds. 
It was crazy. Uh, more than I would ever need. All right, well, I just dialed up. I was on normal difficulty. I dialed up to very hard. So I gotta check this out. I've, I've been doing nothing but building, working on this vassal settlement or soon to be vassal settlement. So let's go, let's go try it out. Well, we killed a few sentry bots earlier, but that was before I dialed up the difficulty. We killed a pack of wild mongrels and we killed a couple of sentries. There was the sentry bot that was out there at that little bunker right there. You see it right there on the edge of the hill. There was a little bunker with a sentry in it, but there was also a sentry bot like just sitting right there. You can still see him glowing a little bit right there in the distance. Right there. He's just sitting there. You know, as you do, at the edge of the settlement. Because this guy is really smart bringing his kids out here to live on the edge of the glowing sea. Between raiders and gunners and sentry bots and all of that. You know, as you do. That seems really safe. I'm going to put in one more. There we go, a little mute fruit. Okay. Um... But enough building. Let's go try out this new very hard difficulty level. What can we go fight? What do you want to go fight? Uh, we could go take out these gunners. Ooh, there'll be an assaultron and stuff over there. I don't have Kate with me. I was talking about this earlier. This is a location that you go to with Kate to do part of her quest. I guess I should quick save before I do this. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Enemies are going to deal more damage now. And I guess I'm going to deal less damage. Let's see, what's Granny's Kiss doing for me? Granny's Kiss is my baseball bat. Named after Celtic Granny. I haven't seen Celtic Granny in the chat room. Is she there today? And it still says 420. Oh, Gerald's trying to play on survival. <laughs> Hey Clark! Clark says, hey everyone, I'm new to this channel. Hi! Hi Logan! Logan says, hi! Yeah, lots of new people on the stream. This is my second playthrough of Fallout 4. My first playthrough, I have a lot of YouTube videos online of my first playthrough. There's a settlement tour series, that's what I started with. And then there's uh, a whole bunch of other shenanigans. No, let's get this assaultron right here. Well, that was a little bit more difficult than before. Yeah, that's true. A little bit, a little bit harder than before. He was still a one-hit wonder. Yeah. All right. Okay, that that cutscene can stop at any time now. He's a one-hit wonder. All right, but I think before it was taking me like two shots to kill an assaultron. Now it takes about four. So okay. Ooh, squirrel bits. That'll make some squirrel stew, I think. Oh, Gage is down there. Down there engaging. Oh. I felt that all the way up here. Did you get zapped, Gage? Yeah, all right. So very hard is making it a little bit more challenging. <laughs> That's cool. Come here, I want to loot your bits. Oh, who's zapping me? Hi there. All right, that made it a little bit more fun, didn't it? Where's Gage? How you doing, Gage? Are you down? You had four stim packs. You should be fine. Okay, we looted her already. Yeah, there's always two assaultrons out here. 
Where'd you go, Gage? Do we need that? Am I caring about that right now? Not really. Oh, Gage is down. Can I can I hit that? No, I'm gonna have to use Wayland Whisper. Alright. This is a call for Wayland Whisper. We'll use the new Wayland Whisper. Alright. That worked well enough. Gage. <laughs> Where exactly did I stick him? <laughs> he's in he's in power armor. Uh apparently I needed to stick you in the ass with a stim pack. There we go. Okay, well that was fun. I'm not gonna actually go in because I'm not with Kate and I'm not doing her Gage? Oh, well I guess Gage has other ideas. Alright. Uh, I'm not actually doing her quest, so I wasn't going to go all the way in. I just wanted to try out uh, the new difficulty setting. It's made it a wee bit more challenging, but uh, not too bad. I guess we'll see next time we run into a mutant suicider what happens. What's up here? I see a light. There's a light. Oh, and it messed up my power armor a little bit. That's a, that's a switch. There's a light down there. Who is that? Let's take a look. Let's see what we see. Anything? Is that a gunner? Or a raider? Or what? Oh, it's a raider. Been an attack dog, okay. Wee. He's gonna be mad, I just killed his puppy. Are you mad? Settlement recruitment signal lost. Is that mattering? Does that matter? Why did they have to give me a note about that? I'm like right here, dude. Uh, okay. Gage has it. <laughs> thanks, Gage. Um, thanks. Okay. Oh, this guy. Is he just out here by himself with his with his doggy? That's it. All right. What you got going on in here? Anything good? Oh. Okay. Yes. Oh wow! Thirty-eight. Yay. Pre-war money, okay. Oh, he has a cat bowl. Is there a kitty around here? I thought he just had a dog. So he has a dog and a cat? Or is he eating out of the cat bowl? God knows. We should go see Felix, you guys, because I need to go get some cat meat. I think I want to build some little cat heads to put on the walls around my raider settlements for the pack. Because they like animals. But I need cat meat. And I don't feel like doing the main quest line, but I think Felix was selling cat meat. We should go find Felix again. Speaking of cat bowls. Alright, yeah, I guess this guy just had his little little spot out here all by himself. Okay. Oh well. Let's go find Felix. Real quick, we'll go grab some cat meat. What the hell is this? Oh, kill the ghouls. Right, because he was asking me to do that, even though I don't really care. All right, um, Felix. Felix is out here near Walden Pond. Where's the pond? There's Walden Pond. Let's head out there and see Felix. We haven't seen Felix in ages. And let me check up with the chat room.
I'm trying to read up on everybody. Everybody's <laughs> saying hello and whatnot. Oh, Emiliano is saying you have too much weight in your inventory. That's not a problem. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not overweighted yet. But even if I was, I have the perk so I can still move around. Um, it just, it kind of, it'll use up my AP. And I can still fast travel if I'm over encumbered. I have that perk too. So it's not, it's not a, too big of a deal. Oh, Overboss is reminding me, Julie, you need to start doing drugs. <laughs> That's true. Well, now that it's on a harder difficulty, maybe I'll have some reason to do some chems. Gage doesn't like it when you use chems, though, which is really, really stupid for a raider. He's a raider that doesn't like it when you use chems. Figure that out. But uh, that's, that's the way he rolls. He's straight edge, so... But you know what? He hasn't been giving me any affinity anyway. I stopped using chems so that he might like me. But he still won't give me his affinity dialogue, so screw him. Oh, something just died. Something just died nearby. Don't know where or how, but okay. Um, anyway, yeah, because every time you use chems, it'll say Gage disliked that. Oh, there's whiskey. And uh, so I stopped using them. But then he still wouldn't give me his damn affinity dialogues anyway. Oh, there's one right there, too. Oh, there's probably not going to be anything interesting inside of that. Oh, Alright, I'll unlock it. It'll be some laundered loungewear or some shit. Um, anyway. But yeah, so I figured, you know, Gage isn't going to like me anyway, so I might as well start using chems, but then I haven't really had a good reason to use chems because the game hasn't been that difficult. I'll take the jet and the bobby pin. But I don't know, maybe it'll maybe it'll be more difficult now and I'll use some chems again, sure. Alright, where's Felix? Felix. Felix is like right over here, isn't he? He's not far from that behemoth. Oh. Oh that's a bird. I thought it was a bloat fly. He's like right on the edge of the lake, isn't he? direction are we facing? Yeah, he should be right around this edge of the lake. Yeah, he was, he was real close to the behemoth's place. Alright, we'll go up there and check it out. See if we can find him again. It's an unmarked location. And we call him Felix because he's the cat guy. He has lots of pet cats. And he has a little pet cemetery in his backyard. And I've read online that for some people it's a woman that spawns there. This isn't Felix's place. Oh, look at this. This didn't go well for these people. Oh, wow. Um, sucks to be you guys. All right. Um, anyway, I guess like there's this little house out here with cats and a pet cemetery, but it's like not the same kind of person who spawns there every time. It could be different types of people. Is there a behemoth in here? This is where the behemoth usually lives. I've already killed one here once. This could be fun. Taking on a behemoth on very hard difficulty, maybe? But he doesn't seem to be home today. Behemoth. Where are you? At Car Hinge here. Yeah, I guess I thought he respawned. Some of the behemoths do. That one out near uh, Green Top respawned. Maybe he doesn't. Anyway. So for some people, it's a woman that spawns at the little cat house place and they, they call her the crazy cat lady. Is this it right here? I think this might be it. No? 
but for me it was a dude and he was wearing a bowler hat and a harness and so we started calling him Felix. Uh, hello? Felix the cat guy. Okay. I should go repair my power armor too. Oh! Yeah, I'm fine, dude. Uh, <laughs> did he just set off another one? Well, okay. Oh, right, yeah, fusion core. I'll take it. Now it says there I have 11 fusion cores, but really I've got um, like 40 or something. I have a whole bunch more stored back at Red Rocket, so never fear, I have plenty of fusion cores, I'm fine. You hear me panting? Or you hear Rose panting? It's cause uh, she's using her AP to move around now because she's overloaded. Come here Gage. Hey. Yeah. What's up? It will give him some stuff, it'll be fine. He likes these anyway. There you go. I don't know why I took the, the dog stuff. Maybe I'll give it to dog meat if I ever get around to finding dog meat again. <laughs> dog meat is actually probably still at Fort Hagen. We followed him there. I started to do the main quest line on Mother's Day. Here's the thing. It was Mother's Day and I thought, well, you know what? I will go try to find out about my kid, Sean, because it's Mother's Day. It was Mother's Day in real life, not in game, but in real life. And I got as far as Fort Hagen and I didn't go in. I didn't actually confront Kellogg. Oh, is that Felix's place? I think we found him. Yeah, it is. Here we are. Oh, it's been ages since I saw Felix. See, there's the little cat cemetery. Oh, I'm healing. I'm, I'm hearing healing, hearing gunshots. Whoa. Okay. That took care of itself. <gasps> there he is! He's in a different hat this time! Holy shit! Felix, you changed your hat! Oh my god, Felix. You're such a stud. You freak. I love you. He was wearing a bowler hat before, and then one time we came out here, he didn't have any hat. And now, he's got... What is that? Is that like a postman's hat? Felix, you remember me? Hi. Best scrap in the Commonwealth right here. Yeah. Let's see what you have. I wonder if I sell him some other hats, he'll wear those too. Do I have other hats to sell him? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. But I should, I should come back here with a bunch of hats. Okay, well let's see if he has cat meat. That's what I'm after. Yeah, see, he does have cat meat. I need the cat meat to make the little cat heads to put on the wall. He's got an Adam Cat's jacket. I wonder if he'll wear that someday. Hey, hang on. I think I've got... I'll sell him a little buff out. But I think I've got a shit ton of vodka. Because my uh, Raider Outposts make a lot of vodka. There you go. Party hard, Felix. Right on. 
And here, stay hydrated. <laughs> One time I came out here, and he's super nice too. He lets you like take anything that's in his house. I came out here one time and uh, he had fusion cores in here. Now he's just got fusion cells. Oh, flamer fuel. I'm going to take that for Gage. Oh, he's got some fashionable glasses. Let's see. He's got cats. He's got cats and a radio. I don't know what's under his bed here, but maybe pictures of cats because look. Cats. And more cats. And more cats. Oh, that's awesome. It's so good to see Felix. Hey, Felix, can I have this Brahmin skull? Thank you. See, he's so nice. He's got some coffee for us. Dude, I miss hanging out with Felix. All right. Um, all right. Well, we found Felix's place. That's awesome. Oh, there he is, leaning up against his wall like he does. Ah, there's a picture of him doing that <laughs> on my uh, on my website. Links in the description. Actually, not a picture of him. I, I superimposed a picture of uh, that dude from Clockwork Orange. A picture of his face on Felix. Because we were joking about the whole Clockwork Orange thing. Do you guys remember that? God, that was ages ago. Anyway, yeah, so there's the little cat cemetery, pet cemetery. Aww. I think he loves his cats. He just doesn't waste the meat. I'm not saying he kills them to eat the meat. I'm just saying, like, if they happen to die, you know, he's not going to waste the meat. But he, he loves his cats. Sure. Aw. Okay, hugs, Felix. Good to see you. All right, I'm going to have to call it a stream, you guys. I don't know how long I've been streaming. Let me check. How long has it been? It's been over two hours. It's gotta be. Yeah, it's been two and a half hours. Okay, let me check up with the chat room. I'm sorry if I missed anyone's comments or questions. It gets busy in the chat room and then I have a hard time keeping up. Let me see here. Oh wow, Remax said there were 32 people watching. That is pretty cool. That's a good live stream for me. Thanks everybody for being here. If you're enjoying yourself, give me a thumbs up you know how it works it's youtube we've all we all know how this works like subscribe tell your friends yada yada i'm also on patreon for anyone who would like to become a patron for special bonus content and rewards and there's lots of other fan art fan fiction uh regular fiction science fiction all kinds of stuff going on on my website links in the description uh let's see oh wow you guys have really been chatting I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything directed at me. Okay, too much weight in my inventory. I remember that comment. <laughs> um, let's see here. Overboss telling me I need to do drugs. Yes. <laughs> hey, this game is rated M for mature. Nothing but positive messages. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, there's chems in the game and I... I need to start using them again. I gotta get the chemist perk, but I gotta get more intelligence before I can get the chemist perk so I can start making overdrive. Oh, there's where Max is talking about overdrive. Yeah. I need to uh, I need to start making overdrive, but I gotta I gotta get the chemist perk. And I think I've got the chem resist perks. I've got both of the ranks of that, so I shouldn't get addicted to anything. It shouldn't be a problem for me to do any of the chems I want to do in this game. And I always forget to use my nuka colas too. I've got a whole bunch of different mixes of nuka cola and I'm always forgetting to use those as well. But now that I'm on very hard difficulty, maybe I'll have some reason. reason to use chems. I still haven't used any alcohol though. I think the only time in my Fiona playthrough, the only time she ever drank was when she was trying to get uh, Old Longfellow's affinity and so she was drinking a whole bunch of whiskey to make him happy. <laughs> they got drunk. 
I imagine she drinks a lot with Hancock and does a lot of chems, but she just doesn't do them while she's like actually fighting things. She doesn't need to. All right, just making sure I didn't miss. Oh, Joseph says, I just found your stream in my recommended. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm glad to know that uh, YouTube's recommending me to people. <laughs> oh, wow. Remaxis said, if you use the pacify perk on someone in power armor, they will exit the armor before surrendering. That could be handy, though I already have more power armor than I know what to do with. Got tons of it, even in this playthrough. Well, I was using it in my Fiona playthrough. I was building a whole bunch of uh, Minutemen power armor that we ended up using when we were fighting the Brotherhood of Steel, which was pretty cool. But in this playthrough, I mean, what would I do with it? I mean, I guess I could take it and leave it around all my Raider outposts. Will the Raiders put it on? I don't think it really matters. Does Is it mattering? Hey, Emiliana says, um, people usually don't pick up guns. Well, the people in settlements don't use the guns you loot for them. Um, yeah, Remax says you got to give them ammo for the gun if you want them to use it. That's true. Settlers in your settlements will use weapons you give them. If you give them the weapons, give them the ammo, and then I think it's the triangle button on PS4. I don't know what it is on Xbox or PC, but if you hit the triangle when you're in their inventory and make them equip it, they will equip it and use it. Um, but yeah, they have to have the ammo. They have to have at least one cartridge of the ammo. Now, they will go and take weapons out of storage. Uh, at Bunker Hill, for instance, I had a whole bunch in my first playthrough, not this playthrough, but my first playthrough, I had a whole bunch of weapons stored at Bunker Hill and my settlers would go in and grab them uh, if they happen to have the ammo in their inventories like if they had some fusion cells i gave them for laser pistols and then later i stored some like massively you know awesome laser rifle and the settlement would get attacked they would run over and grab the laser rifle out of out of my storage container and use it and so sometimes i would come back to bunker hill and all my stuff would be gone and I'd have to go around to all the settlers and clear out their inventories because they were taking my weapons. They didn't take the armor. They didn't seem to take the food or anything else, but they would definitely grab the weapons. Or if you leave ammo with the weapons, they would grab them and use them if it was better than what they already had in their inventories. Oh, Emiliana says, can you dig tombs in this fallout? Um, that's a good question. I don't think so. You can build cement bunkers, but I think the cement, the cement workshop elements are added by like Wasteland Workshop or Contraptions or one of those. It's not default in the game. I think the cement is added by the expansions. You could build cement tombs. You could sink into the ground, I guess, but you can't really dig out the ground. You can't like, if you found a hole in the ground, you could put cement in it, or you could build a cement tomb or something. Um, or you could you could sink pieces of cement and other things into the ground to kind of look like tombstones or something. But uh, you can't interact, you can't dig the ground. Um, you can't, like, you know, put put dirt up and build a hill, or dig out the ground or anything like that. Yeah, it's kind of limited, the, the workshop interaction elements are a little bit limited. Hey, Mouse Guard, thanks for being here. You have a good day, too. Oh, thanks, Logan. Thanks for subbing. I usually stream every day between Sunday and Friday. I just don't stream on Saturdays. And I've been playing Fallout 4. I've got a bunch of... I, I was doing Skyrim. There's a whole bunch of Skyrim videos of my, my fourth Skyrim playthrough on my YouTube channel. Uh, there's a whole bunch of videos of my previous Fallout playthrough with Fiona and Hancock. Um, and I'm going to start playing Dishonored 2 on August 2nd. And in my very first live stream of Dishonored 2 on August 2nd, I am going to be giving away a set of Dishonored Tarot cards, which is a promotional item 
that they released when the game came out in 2012. I've got a set of those. I'm going to be giving them away at the end of the live stream. So check in for that. I'm on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook. And if you, uh, I guess if you uh, click the little bell on YouTube, you'll be notified when I do another live stream. And I think I have finally caught up with the chat room. That should be everybody. I hope if I missed anyone, I'm sorry. It gets so busy in here when there's a lot of people watching. <laughs> oh, Logan says I should give the World Series back to Gage so you can watch your enemies fly when he runs out of ammo. Ooh, that is a good idea. That is a good idea. I really enjoy watching him use his big flaming thing, which is what I named his flamer that he picked up from the gunners in Sagas Ironworks. I enjoy watching him set things on fire. He does that every so often. He might be out of flamer fuel right now, though, so maybe I gotta give him some more of that. But that's a good idea. I could watch him knock things around with the baseball bat. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye!